life. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Murray Mint here. How the devil are you? It's 2019. I hope everyone's had a great new year. Um, it's very exciting. Lots happening this year. 600 and odd subscribers. I'm going up guys. Um, in the words of Yaz, the only way is up. Well, unless you're a football team not doing very well, then you can go down. Go on lad, get up there. Right, so, if you haven't liked or subscribed, please can you do it now? So, you get all you need to do, it's not hard guys, not hard. Just one flick of your moose on the subscribe. I think it's down there, or down there. Once you've seen the video, could you like the video and maybe put a comment? I think I look quite tired today. Now, there's a reason for that, okay? I haven't been on a sesh. I've been going to bed, probably not early, but not too late. Um, that's a lie, it's quite late. But I need to talk about an addiction that I've got. For as long as I can remember, I have been addicted to Coke. Not that, the drink. The drink. So I've been addicted to Coca-Cola for as far back as I can remember. I can even remember when I was a teenager phone and the number on the coca-cola bottle asking the person on the other end of the phone can, can I be you know addicted to coca-cola and they said no well I'm not too sure because if you didn't know coca-cola I mean I'm talking a long long time ago did put cocaine in their coke naughty but it was in i think it was 18 or something or 1903 when cocaine obviously was there was a lot more research done on it and it was seen to be very addictive so they swapped it out with another substance can you guess what that substance was sugar so they took the cocaine out of coke and put sugar in so to replace it now all the news lately has been how it's not fat that is the problem um, with diets and stuff, it's sugar. Sugar is the naughty one. Naughty! And I actually understand this because if I don't have sugar, I feel shit. Mask that with the caffeine from the Coke. I don't like coffee or tea, which I know is weird. Everyone else is like, you don't like coffee or tea? What do you drink? I drink Coke. So I drink coke uh, for the caffeine and the sugar. Like I know, cause I'm getting proper porky as oot. And every time I say anything to anyone, they're like, you need to give up the coke. And I'm like, but like, what can I drink? Like, I, like obviously I'm we're blessed to have water and you know, H2O and all that. But I, it, it, it's kind of boring, isn't it? And you can't like, I can't be like, out like I'll just have a water please and everyone else I mean it's soft drinks acceptable a water when you eat yeah you kind of get it's like you've got leprosy so like people are shouting water 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 Do you know what I mean it's not really the done thing I went on a fact-finding mission to see if there was anything that didn't have sugar in um, like a soft drink um, and also something with a bit of caffeine in but also I didn't want that like that drop you know like where the crash so you'll have something and then you'll crash so I found two products that have come this morning so this is them and um, I'm showing you now the pictures of the boxes so um, there's one brightly coloured box and there's one normal coloured box and uh, they both came at the same time so Already one box stands out more than the other. Although the box is, the bright coloured box is called Ugly. Hmm. Which is not a phrase I'm familiar with, being so handsome. Um, U G L Y, you ain't got no L by, you're ugly. You're ugly, right? No. Okay, so I'm going to show you the, the first thing. So this is called Bright. It's a tropical matcha, matcha. Right, so I'm gonna talk a bit about this. So I found this on the internet and it's a productivity drink, which means it's good for the brain. Now, how does that work? 
Well, it says it works because of the caffeine and l the lefinine. Lefinine? I'm probably pronouncing all these wrong because I haven't got a clue what the, how to say them. But anyway, and how it works is the caffeine and the lefinine or whatever um, work with each other. So the caffeine gives you the boost and the lefinine makes it you not have the crash. They work together to provide a balanced mental energy boost. It's got um, natural ingredients. So the ingredients are matcha, guana, green coffee, and green tea. They release gradually without energy spikes or crashes. Therefore, the boost can last longer than after consumption of a cup of coffee. Oh, so it can last longer than a cup of coffee or an energy drink. So this is really what this this sounds mint, not mint as in the taste, just mint as in like a good. This sounds really cool. This is just what I'm looking for. But guys, remember I don't like coffee or tea, so this is cold. There is a little bit of sweetener in this, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Very minimal, but there is a high caffeine content in that, so it's not not recommended for children or if if you're up the duff. So consume moderately. Recommended not to exceed a daily intake of 400 milligrams of coffee from all sources. So if you're gonna have a coffee as well in the tea and stuff, then just be careful because you might be off your nut. So I'm gonna show you the next one. Now this, there it is. This is a can and it's called Ugly. Now it's because I read on their website it likes to shine the ugly truth on the other brands of drinks that put sugar in. This is no sugar, no sweetener, no calories. I love it already. But with those not being in there, will, it, will the taste be there? That's what we, we need to find out. So we've got sparkling orange, lemon and lime, which are, t to be honest, these are my two favorite flavors of any drink, uh, apart from Coke, obviously. Because it's got caffeine in and I need something on the morning, I'm gonna try this. So, the bright. Quite like the packaging, to be honest. It's quite, it is quite cool. So it obviously, like anything, it says shake well. Good at this. Um, check the date, obviously. Got to check the date. Uh, best before, that's fine. Right, I'm a bit nervous about this one because I don't like coffee and stuff. Oh God. Don't worry, I'm fine. Got enough. Oh. It doesn't look nice. It looks like, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like green. Like a greeny colour, so it doesn't look very nice. But I'm not bothered about looks, obviously. It's about the taste. Well, I'll spill it a bit on this. Right. Here goes. This is the bright. Oh my god, it's quite nice. Guys, I was not expecting that. Wow. Oh my god, that is so, so nice. And as you can see, I've drank nearly three quarters of it. I will finish it. At first, it doesn't have an aftertaste, but after a little while, it has a tiny one, but it's not bad. Uh, but you can definitely t taste it. But I think it's just obviously like, trying something new and that sort of thing but no I think it's nice well done bright and it's a hundred percent natural which is what we're after and knee sugar I need to clarify if this has got sugar in because I'm not too sure I think something tasting so good must have some sort of sugar in but I'm um, hopefully bright will let us know and, and confirm or deny if there's sugar in it we'll have a look well, that's nice. I could have that on the morning, nay bother. Watch it, it'll start kicking in and I'll start doing the hoovering. Woo! Pop that off me nut. 
Right, so, so it says get real, get ugly. Let's have a taste of this. Oh, it smells nice already. Oh, oh. Oh, nice bit of fizz. Yes. Okay, so it looks just like water. It doesn't look orange, which is all right, because we don't want any shitty colours in. Uh-oh. You know what I don't want it to taste like, and I'm really worried it's going to tonic water with, like, a little bit of orange in. Um. Right. So, so you can definitely tell that that's got no sweetness, sugar, nothing. Because it literally is just fizz. I can't really taste the orange too much. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna try the lemon and lime. I was hoping that was gonna be because I love the packaging. I love everything about this. I, I was really, really hoping the taste would be amazing. But I just don't know if there's ever gonna be anything that without sweetener or sugar is gonna taste decent do you know what I mean right let's see if this is any better I'm not saying that's bad by the way that's better I like that one better to be honest that one's nicer really really nice oh thank god I bought two great so yeah so that is the um lemon and lime ugly can and um, with no sugar no sweetness no calories I like it better than the orange one, but you know, that's just preference, I suppose. So both of these, on reflection, are very different, I suppose. This has got a stimulant in, which is caffeine, and which is, and it also has um, a sweetener in it, which I didn't realize it did until I started drinking it, and I realized, yeah, it definitely has something, because it tasted really nice. The ugly drinks, the cans, Definitely, if you love um, sparkling water, you will love these. Absolutely love these. I think I'm just addicted to sugar, so I like something that is going to be a bit more sweeter. But, you know, this, I definitely think, if I kept drinking it, I would get used to it, no problem. I'm looking forward to getting to know these two bad boys better. I'm going to have that in the morning, and then I'm going to have that throughout the day. And hopefully that will make my Coke a cola addiction oh no more like i said in the beginning please comment below tell me what you're trying to um overcome this 2019 um, and we can do it together and um i'll talk back to you i'll get i will have a bit crack on thanks for watching guys and um, i'm going to put some links so you can buy some of these products and um, but both yeah i, I love both them i am um, i like I like that one better only because it had sweetener in but they're both really nice so um, give them a try it's a great alternative all right guys thanks for watching peace